Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be our two looks, one palette using the stunning Juvia's Place Sweet Pigs palette. It's a two looks one palette because it's a smaller palette and for say like my little nine pans from Huda I only did two looks with those as well. But that's not to say I might not do a two more looks or I might just do a get ready with me or I might do an Instagram kind of video with these. That might happen. Um, it's a stunning all pink palette, all different tones of pink. I've kind of gone more warm pink, so a bit more of the curly side. On my eyes right now are these two shades here. That is it. That is on all that's on my eyes right now. And yeah, I kind of love it. I couldn't believe it. Like I was like halfway through doing it, it was like two minutes into filming. I was like, oh, this is a good look. I should do this a lot more. And it's so pretty. They're so sparkly. I, if you want to see the swatches of them all, I did that in my first impressions, which would have been two weeks ago. I think that's how my schedule is. I think it was two weeks ago. Um, yeah, that's already up on my channel. Anyway, if you want to see my first actual impressions of this, this is my second time using it. And I will have one more look in this video as well using the palette, but I've been loving it. I does nothing new with Juvia's Place formula that's different from normal, that they're just stunning and always are. You can't, they just, they can't do any wrong to me, I don't think. Um, I just think the, these colors are so pretty. I have three more of these little palettes as well so I'll be doing some more in that video actually no I've just remembered my first impressions of this was a couple of days ago I'm pre-filming so my whole schedule is all over the place anyway <laughs> let's get on to this look if you want to see any up close pictures of this look then my Instagram is linked down below and you can go follow that there the pictures tend to go up a couple of days after or a day or two after um, the video goes live and also hit subscribe down below to see more two looks on palettes but my other palettes that I have you'll see what they are eventually I have another one of these coming up actually this month in like two weeks time I think I don't know um I'm also currently filming my makeup collection so up close and personal with my makeup collection swatching most of it I've done my lipsticks and I think my glosses by now but I haven't actually filmed my glosses as I'm filming this intro but I've definitely done my lipsticks and I swatch my entire lipstick collection up close. So you get to see it all. It's a long video, but you will get to see it. Um, so if you're interested in that, hit subscribe down below. I've also got my colour series that I'm currently doing, which I'm always in love with. And lots of first impressions, lots of two looks and three looks from palettes. So yeah, hit subscribe to see more of that. But anyway, let's get in to look number one with our Juvia's Place Sweet Picks palette. Hello, let's get in to look number one using the beautiful Juvia's Place Sweet Pinks palette. Um, I'm quite coral. I've got kind of curly jewellery on. I don't normally wear a lot of finger jewellery um, and I've got kind of gold accessories, but whatever. Um, I'm thinking coral, these two here, and I think that's all I'm going to use is just those two colours. Super simple, super blown out over the eye nothing spectacular you'll notice as well i have my skin on i also have my bronzer and blush on but i have no highlight on it's just super dewy because i use a lot of creams and that's why i already have them on because i wanted to set my face with powder but i had to do the creams before i did that so i did that first but everything is listed down below and i will still tell you at the end what i used so don't worry about that same with my brows and i've already got my eyeshadow eyeshadow primer on so let's start this is going to be super simple, quick and easy sort of look, nothing spectacular. We're going to go in with this shade here, which is like a nice soft coverly shade, which is really pretty. Take it on a MAC 217 brush and we're just going to pop this on the outer corner. I don't want this to be a really fussy kind of look. I don't even know what kind of lip I want to do with it yet. Just popping some of that through the crease all the way through it's such a pretty color you would have seen the swatches of all these in my first impressions which i will have up there or down in the uh, description box or both you'll probably see it pop up um but yeah this is such a nice color as soon as i seen this color this is the exact look i had in mind just something super quick and blown out the kind of thing i would wear in the summer a lot even though it's not summer yet but it's coming it's coming warm weather will be back so that's the crease done <laughs> um, I really went and I really blew it out at the edge like something super soft super simple and with blue eyes this is going to be an absolute dream so I'm going to take that same shade that same matte corally shade and this is a 2 
1.19 from MAC, just a pencil brush, any pencil brush will do. And we're just going to run that along the lower lash line. Again, super simple and we really want to blow this out. So I'm just getting it packed on really densely right into the lashes. And we will blend it out in a second. And then just going back out my 2 and 7, I did a tiny little dab of it on that brush. And we're just going to go in and soften out the blend. Making sure as well that you connect out here. Very important as always. But just blend it down as much as you want. I want it down quite fair. Okay, so once we have that on, and it's such a pretty corally pink shade, I love this kind of colour, especially in the summer, especially when I'm a bit more tanned as well. I'm not tanned right now, by the way, I just have a lot of bronze on. <laughs> um, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, um, or no, Too Faced Glitter Insurance, I always get that wrong. And we're going to go in with a bit of shimmer, which is going to be this guy here. Now, I haven't actually used this with a glitter primer, because... I used it in a cut crease, which I used with P. Louise base, and that was freshly applied, so that helped it stick really well. So I want to see what it looks like with a bit of glitter primer. So I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics Rose Gold Number no. 8 brush, and we're going to pop a bit of that glitter primer on. But I do want this also soft as well. Like, I want all the impact there, but I want it to diffuse outwards as we go. So I'm only taking a little bit of the primer. I'm just pressing it into the main lid. And then whatever's left, just let that feather up. Not packing too much on. So then we're going to take this shade here. It's definitely the warmer side. When you turn it, it kind of slightly has a bit of an orange shift to it. So I'm just picking that up on the same brush we just used to apply the primer. And just again, focus it on the main lid. I'm only doing a little bit at a time. So I can control it and I don't get too much fallout. And these... Shadows, shimmers do work a little better, as most shimmers will with your finger. Most tend to. But I like to use the brush at least first just to get the colour on. And then I can go in and press extra onto the lid. Oh my goodness, this is such a pretty colour. I love it. So I'm just going to take whatever's left on that brush with the shimmer on it and just start patting on the edge. Just to let that diffuse upwards. So it's nice and soft and just slowly goes up. Then picking up a little bit more of that matte um, coral trait, the very first one that we used. And just use that in the crease just to help soften through it as well. Make sure we have no harsh edges because the textures are different. So just to make sure they all blend nicely. Alrighty, that's it. That's it done. We're done. It's such a simple look. That's such a beautiful look as well. That's so impactful, but soft and quick and easy and two colors apart from my inner corner highlight which is gonna be my face highlight so yeah that's it i'm gonna jump off for a sec and i will finish off my face and then we'll be back Alrighty, guys so this is how i have finished off the look we have gone all matchy matchy with the face which i really like and i feel so summery right now and i kind of adore it even though it's not summery but this is like my favorite skin this skin to me is beautiful but minus the skin that's all listed down below you will see it there but to finish off the eyes, all I did was I used my liner. It's the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude. It's just a nude. I haven't used it in forever and I just popped that on my waterline. It's really, really nice. It's a little bit of a warmer nude than my other ones that I have, which I quite liked with the corally tones. Didn't do any liner on my upper lash line because, as I said, it's going to be a very simple look. So that's fine. I just used my mascara, which is my Essence Get Big Lashes Mascara. I will be finishing it soon. It's not quite done yet, but um, it's hitting the three and a half month mark. So at about four months, I will get rid of it. I know this is going up in February, but I'm actually pre-filming this a little bit. So I'm still using it. It's actually January while I'm filming this. So I'm not using it over the time. Then we're moving on to lashes. These are the Primark Beauty 3D Allure lashes. That's what the box looks like. I think they've changed the box of these to like a black packaging or something like that. But they're just really nice, kind of spiky, but soft spiky. They don't take over. They keep the eyes really open and kind of doe-eyed looking, which I love. Then on to the cheeks. Like I said, I had it on, like most of my cheeks on at the beginning. And this is the Larizzi bronzer, like shade sticks bronzer in the shade Aloha. Love it. One of my favourite things, especially in the summer. I love it. Very soft as well, but because it's a cream, but I can really buff it in and I use a brush and you don't use a lot when you use a brush, which is really nice. Also a cream for my cheeks. I use my Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Yacht Life, which is that kind of classic 
corally pinky with a gold shimmer that kind of nars orgasm sort of look so if you have the cream stick in that which i actually do i should use that as well actually but i haven't used this in ages and i use this and i applied this with my fingers i just literally went like that and press it onto my cheeks then i didn't have this on in the beginning i put this on after i had done the eyes this is my highlight it's the inglot sparkling dust face eyes and body pretty sure this is number seven zero seven the number is rubbed off and i'm definitely not going to get through this because you i literally like a dab i used a fan brush which i don't always use because i don't feel like they give me enough impact with my highlight but with this you don't need a lot so i was like we'll use the fan brush because it'll control me then my lips i was like will i do super intense coral like this or will i go a bit more matchy and i put this kind of up to my lips and i was like this is the one i think this is it so this is max lip pencil in the shade rosy rim it's a soft kind of peachy corally kind of color which is really nice quite soft though so you can wear it with like nudie colors if you want to or use it with something like this where there's a bit more color in it then i use this lipstick here i think this has been discontinued i don't know you might be able to still get it in some stores this is the mac lipstick in the shade sunny soul and it's just basically the exact same color as what's on my eyeballs um it's a super nice kind of glossy texture i don't have any gloss on right now it's just very pretty and i really really like this color it's one of my favorite colors so yeah this is how the look is i've probably said it at the beginning already but if you want to see up close pictures of this look then my instagram is linked down below the pictures will go up sometime after the video goes live so you'll see that there also if you want to see my lipstick collection i did do a video of that already so you can hit subscribe to see that i will be doing my gloss collection this month i think i don't know when that could already be up i'm not sure i still have to film it so <laughs> um but yeah that is the look so let's see what we do for look number two Alrighty guys, we are going to get into look number two. Yes, I already have look number two on, which is weird for my two looks on palette videos, but there is a reason, a crappy reason, but it's a reason. For some reason, when I recorded it, I recorded like the first couple of steps and you'll see that in a second, it just didn't record. Basically, it was gone. Um, I recorded it, it was on my uh, SD card and I put it onto my laptop and it was gone just a few minutes ago. So I just decided to quickly jump on and like tell you what I use because I already finished it then I've only realized it now so yeah um it's literally the first little bit of it that's it it's like two eyeshadows that I use and it's like the simplest of things so let me just quickly explain to you what happened I already had my face products on which I know I say in all these videos my face products my brows and my eyeshadow primer which is all listed down below so you can see it there um and then we started with the darkest pink on a which kind of a brush where's my brush gone it was a makeup geek soft dome brush a stiffer kind of blending brush i used that popped it on my outer corner and into my crease but i didn't blend it out straight away i just packed a lot of it on and then i used this one here the kind of brighter neon pink and i used that on a spectrum b07 brush a big fluffy brush and i used that to blend out that darker pink that is it <laughs> that is all i did and then we move into the next step in a sec okay so nothing too fussy with the actual lid itself i'm just going to take a little bit of glitter primer just because i always use glitter primer with my shimmers and i'm just going to take that on a little actually i'm just going to use my finger just easier that way we'll just pat that over the eye i don't want to do a cut crease like that i want it to be nice and soft so then just on a little flat brush like this we're going to go in to this shade here which is the softest pink in the whole palette um especially uh, the shimmers kind of has a little bit of like a gold sheen through it as well and we're just going to press that all over the lid just where i don't have any of the other pink just keep going all over layer it up as much as you want or put a little bit on if you want to as well and i did use this in my first impressions i think but only a little bit so that's why i wanted to give this its own little showcase on the lid then going back in with my brush i used for the very first shade the deepest pink and we're going to pick up a little bit more of that just a little dab and then just use that to soften the lines between that shimmer and the matte give us a nice little blend between them make it all look nice and cohesive and like i said there's no cut crease or anything like that i just pressed it on and if there's a little bit of shimmer fading outwards that's okay 
Okay, you could very easily just do the lower lash line as your darkest pink, but I want to use the peachy kind of color here. So I'm going to take a little bit of that on a MAC 214 brush, my little small smudgy brush. I think this is dirty, is it? No, it's not. I thought it was dirty. Um, we're going to go in with this peachy shade. Just picking it up. It's a soft color, like I used it in my first look. You would have seen it a lot in that one. But I just like the idea of this being a little bit softer on the bottom, but still bright and still has some color. And I'm just using this brush first just to pack it on and then I'll blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with a Real Techniques shading brush. We're going to pick up a little bit more of that colour. Same one. And then just use that to soften at the edge just because it's a little bit fluffier. But I wanted the first brush just to get in between my lashes a bit better. And blend this down as much as you want. Okay, so for my inner corner I'm just going to use my face highlight. This is my Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow highlighter in the shade Blossom Glow. I'm going to take a little bit of that. Have I got a little brush? I do not. So just on a small little brush, just picking up a little bit of that. This has like a slight pinky sort of ness to it. It's not a pink and it's not like a duochrome, but it does have that kind of icy pink sort of look off it. Popping that on the inner corner. And you can very much keep it like that if you want to do. That's the kind of softer side of it, even though this is not a soft look because it's super bright. Um, I'm going to take that same brush and I'm going to dip into this curly shade. And the reason why I put down the first highlight is just to dilute this colour because I feel like it might be very overpowering but I still want a hint of this in here so I'm just taking a little bit and then just really work it into that first highlight that we put on okay so it's weird but sure look what's not on this channel I'm gonna jump off I'm going to finish up my eyes do the rest of my face my lips and all that kind of stuff I'll let you know what I use when I come back and then we can see what we really think of the palette Alright guys, so this is how I finish off the look. I really like how it turned out. I really like, I love these lashes by the way. So let me just quickly go through everything that I used on my face. I popped on my waterline the LA Splash Shockwave Neon Lip Liner in the shade Outrage. It's like a corally orangey kind of colour. It's not eye safe. It's a lip pencil. They don't advertise it for the eyes, but if you are willing to risk it, it, it's, a, it's a nice colour and I'm willing to risk it so I have that on. And then my liquid liner is just my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner in black. I just did a nice decent size wing. And then we have got the Essence Get Big Lashes Mascara as per usual. My actual false lashes are the LA Splash Dauntless Lashes in the style Diva. It's a purple case. They're super long, wingy, choppy love them they're really pretty and dramatic but still make the eyes look very pretty and i love them so then on to cheeks we have got the mac mineralized blush in the shade humor me is my contour slash bronzer love it and then my blusher is just a pink as well it's the benefit bella bamba just a nice pink to kind of go with all the pinky tones on the eye it's a little bit warmer but can also lean a bit cooler as well so it just depends on what you pair it with so it goes with everything and then we have got the wet and wild mega glow highlighter like i said before the blossom glow and that is my highlight for my face and also kind of on my inner corner a little bit then my lips is the mac lip pencil in sore because it's a neutral pink because i did want it to be a little bit neutral but still pink enough my lipstick is one that I popped into my lipstick close-up collection, which was up a few weeks ago. And um, this is Creme Cup. It's just a soft pink, just like an everyday kind of pink. And then my lip gloss is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Peaches and Cream, which is a super nice corally shade. It matches that coral on the bottom of my eye perfectly. So yeah, that is everything that is on my face. Okay guys, so that is our two looks, one palette using the Juvia's Place Sweet Pinks palette. I've been loving it, I really have. I mean, obviously you're limited to doing pinks and kind of corally pinks, but I do really like it. If you pair with other things though, you'll get many, many looks. The formula is beautiful, your three mattes, three shimmers, it's the perfect mix of pinks as well to get a bit of variety out of it as well. So you can get something really nice going out of it. You've got more corally pinks, you've got your kind of softer pink, um, that could go with your corally pink you've got your super vibrant hot pinks and then your kind of neon pink as well which I will do in the future something with that as a showcase so yeah I love I love these little pads I love how small they are they're so inexpensive they're so worth the money to me if you're willing to spend money on makeup like this to me it's worth the money so yeah if you did like this video then give me a big thumbs up down below it's the easiest cheapest and simplest of ways to get my video around give me some support 
anything like that also hit subscribe down below to see more videos coming up we have got coming up next i think is a color series video i think oh no Ooh. no it's not it is another up close makeup collection i because that because this month is a bit weird compared to the first month so yeah whatever something's coming so subscribe for that and <laughs> um, i'll also have more of these of three more of these if you want to see any more of these that i have then you will see them coming up as well if you hit subscribe down below and also leave me a comment down below which was your favorite look out of my first impression my first look or my second look i actually think i like the first look of this video the kind of coralie one i think that was my favorite one i sent a picture to my boyfriend and he loved it so yeah i think that's my favorite but let me know yours down below also my face will be up on my instagram this face everything the details up close eyes and everything will be up on my instagram which will be linked down below as well so go give that a follow so you can see when that goes up usually a couple of days after my video goes up as well so yeah i think that's everything and i will see you in the next video guys